G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to the Pedal Picassos once again. I'm Rod. Uh, if it's your first time, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below. We're having a look at, uh, I'm having a look at and showing you uh, the Boss SY200 synth. Um, one of uh, the latest in the series from Boss, uh, who are always at the cutting edge of guitar pedals for uh, for us uh, in the guitar community, their synth pedals have been state of the art and cutting edge and paving the way for years and years and years. Um, compact versions, we've presented the, the smaller version um, on this channel previously. There is a larger one, this is the mid-range one, and it's, it's just packed chockers with classic synth sounds, um, pads, horns, uh, strings, sweeps, arpeggios, and in this case, um, a sequence which has got rhythm and bass, which is very cool. Sweet. All right. Going through the Boss Katana. It's a... Uh, it's a relatively clean sort of patch. Bit of bit of hair around it. Um, just this one again. You, you've got tap tempo here, so you can slow that down if you wanted to. You know. speed it up so, so I was just having a bit of fun with that I've taken it out of the box I haven't read the manual we don't read manuals do we not until we get into trouble we don't know what we're doing um, but until then we just we just explore and we twist knobs and we twiddle them um, you've got 128 uh, 126 127 including down to zero I think uh, zero one yes 128 patches starting with um, a saw lead <laughs> So you've got controls for your guitar level, your instrument level, and you can wind that back to have pure synth, which I'll, I'll probably do for this demo. So you just get the uh, the synth tones. Tracking is impeccable. Very cool. Editing um, all of the uh, parts that are going to make the synth sound. Uh, you've got resonance and depth. You can actually take one of these and just straight on the fly um, and go to an arpeggio mode. But once you twist back to the preset, you get what's uh, how this was built. Twist knobs for depth and resonance. Um, you got variations on the tone. So it's hugely variable, as you can see, and that's just that's just patch number one. A fifth lead. organ sounds are incredible once we get to those. More um, square leads with an octave up. Soft pads. Ninety eighty x synth brass. T 
touch sensitive as well, pick sensitive. We're going to be here a while. Bells. Organs, rotary, fast. And a dirty organ. Bass. Uh, and that's just a demonstration of how you can change the initial attack of the sound just with your pickup change. Great stuff. Love the sweeps. They just sound menacing. <laughs> Slow sweep. Filters, I swept past another bubble. Any of the bubbles? Just just call me Bubble Starlink. Filters. With all these you can twist the tempos on them. And you can tap tempo those as well. Rhythm and bass. This is the one that I was with before. It's so cool. Wind some guitar in on this one. And you can go... I could just spend hours doing that one, but I won't. So I'll bring the, um, the guitar signal back out of... The arpeggios. Once again, you've got variations on these as well. They're inspirational, the tones, you know, that means you, you have fun playing. You get, you get something, you dial in something and all of a sudden it will spark a groove, which is, it's, it's, you, you got to give hats off when you plug into a bit of gear and it just inspires you to, to play. Because that's what we want, isn't it, at the end of the day? As I said before, the tracking is impeccable. Bends as well. More 
square lights. to spice up some lead tones if you got it mixed in um, with whatever um, cool tone you have dialed up for your solos just to get a different taste um, whack in a synth um, patch as well mix it in there <laughs> I love her each weekday, each velvety cheek day. <laughs> That's great. Twenty years ago, you would have needed a Roland Hex pickup to interface with one of their synth pedals. Not anymore. It just tracks beautifully with a uh, an analog input. <coughs> As I said, you can um, you can go through all of these patches, 128 of which you can then edit and store yourself, uh, myriad variations, or you can just start twisting um, your dial knob here. So you start with any of those, build your tone, build your patch and store it somewhere. Um, and Or go through any one of the 128 patches that are here and edit them up. sequence things I, I just instantly get a picture of Keith Moon with some big uh, headphones on the studio <laughs> Thank you. 
so many bell sounds. Just the, the organ tones to have for comping in a band. Um. Are so cool. square bass. Three quarters of the way there, peeps.
All the sweeps are so good. territory. It's the wind. Listen to the wind. Laser beam, anyone? Beep. Beep, beep. Lo-fi phase. Uh. Nearly there. Wiggle. Uh. Wiggle it. Uh. Just a little bit. Uh. Uh. Going down. Going up. Breath. Ring mod. All your sequences were just so very, very cool. Once again, once again, tap tempo, you can. A moving organ. So back to our bass sequences. Our bass sequence with rhythm. So that sequence 16 gives you the, the sort of the kick and snare. So very cool. Your arpeggios. Once again, tap tempo. Slow them down. And then back to number one. So, look, thanks for um, sticking with me, if you have. This is just going through the 128 patches that are in here, giving you an understanding of what this pedal is capable of. Um, if you ever wanted to get into synth pedals and, and via Boss, this is uh, a really good, really good option to give you some control. There's um, uh, expression pedal capability in, there's uh, effects loop in, out. 
um, uh, memory assigns, all that type of stuff. It's just a good bit of kit, isn't it? Thanks for tuning in. Um, please join us again next time. Drop a comment in below. Let me know what you think of this pedal. If you got one, if you're using one, or if you've got something that's, uh, you know, it's a competitor in this field. Um, we'll see you next time. Yeah.